Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much good depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate people from the contraption. Like and share videos. News update. Nigerian army invade email communities. Carry out unwarranted attacks on the people. Yes. Now, the terrorists masquerading as soldiers of the Zoological Republic. The enemy most is carrying out Operation Search and Flush. That's what they're saying. Yes, carrying out Operation Search and Flush, innocent youths. Innocent youths. Yes, they're in the, these communities. The youths are fleeing. They're fleeing the communities because the military, these uh, terrorists, these terrorists from the Boko Haram enclave, they have come to the southeast to commit genocide. Now, their interest is to decimate or reduce, but as they are, the number of the youths in the Boland and some Efulefu giving them support, but tacit and open support is worrisome. It's worrisome that some Efulefu who doesn't know history will be giving these people support because of political position. We are governors. We are ministers. We are this, we are that. Just money that you eat. How many years is money for you? Don't talk about the future of your own race. The future of your children. The future of your people. You are talking about what you will eat now. Just a few years ahead. Oh, yes. So that is what they are doing now. They are receiving support. The terrorists are receiving support from the people of left for. So they are more female. Bringing them. Oh, <laughs> I'm not car eating. No more I froze. I froze. Oh, the new war here. Cool air is safe. Oh, here, can you allow us? I'm not car eating. No more dim. I froze. I froze. Oh, the new war here. Oh, here, can you allow us? Now they are in the villages carrying out this, uh, these killings. Oh yes, forceful disappearances, chasing the youths. Youths are running away, are running away from the villages. If you go to the hinterlands, you see that the youths they have all gone out. You hardly see the youths in the localities because of the activities of these these uh, terrorists being supported and sponsored by these political fools. Otherwise, if you say the the boss. It was are powerful to stop anybody who are you to come to Iboland to chase the youths. But because they have the support of those who are in, who say they are in power, they use the resources of the state to sponsor these attacks against their own people. That's why I if they have the age. No age, they don't have any age. These terrorists, they have no age against the or the youths. They have no age. But because they are being sponsored with taxpayers' money, the people will pay money by tax and revenue, everything. They wish to sponsor this, uh, this uh, terrorist. This terrorist from Boko Haram enclave. They will come to the southeast and they start chasing the innocent youths. Yes, that's what is happening. Oh, yes, they will leave the Boko Haram enclave where Boko Haram, you know, terrorizing them that place. They will come to the southeast with the support of the political enclave, political diabetes. And they will be threatening our youths. So that is it. But BLA is getting up. B but tomorrow, some political efulefu, some non entities will come and say, Oh, we are sorry. They have come to protect our people and they have uh, neutralized them. What is happening? We sympathize with the army, with the military. Let us see that sympathy from you when the water water will happen because it will definitely happen. They are doing it tonight, they sweet them. Yes, no wahala. They will pay for it. They will pay for it. Yes, they will pay. 
So when the time comes, they will see someone who will come and talk nonsense and say, oh, they have come to protect. These people are coming to protect. You will see what is happening. You are in the bush. They are hiding there. You are chasing LPOB. LPOB is a non-violent. LPOB, LPOB is a, a, an organization recognized by international communities. Oh, yes. It's a freedom-fighting organization. That's all. IPOB is not terrorist like the Boko Haram, like the Janja Wili Fulani Esme. Yes, they are not uh, terrorist organizations like Meti Allah, Katu Breeders. They are all terrorists. IPOB is a peaceful organization for self examination. And you are saying you are chasing them because of that. You are killing innocent youths, unarmed innocent youths. Oh, yes. These youths are unarmed, innocent, doing their businesses, applying to their trade. They are in the southeast communities, Biafran region. They are people going the wee hours to start abducting them because they are able bodied men. Yes? So that is to reduce the number of Igbo youths in the guise of fighting a pop agitation. But it will not work. All these things will not stop their friends from agitating for their freedom. Nowhere. The struggle continues. Yes, the Igbos are great. They are powerful people. The Igbos are multiplied in their, in their large numbers. Despite the fact they are not into a magic system, yet they are population growing. Yes, in a stable manner, commiserate with their resources. So there's nothing, no amount of, amount of intimidation will stop Ndebo from asking for their freedom. Yes, the struggle will continue. If you like, bring all the whole Boko Haram terrorists, masquerading as army, to the southeast. And they will continue to ask for their freedom. That's it. So the lives of all of them by his courts. They should understand that their effort is infertility. Infertility. If you are doing anything to stop this agitation, you are talking nonsense. You are doing your effort will be infertility. It will be like pouring water on the stone. Yes, it will yield no result for you. That is it. So that's what we are saying now. The Igbo youths, they are fleeing their communities because the army, they are committing genocide. They are killing the youth. Yes. So tomorrow, you will hear. This cause, when it will happen, what it will it will happen soon? Yes, anyone from now will go hear them. We will hear cause. It will happen. So now, when it happen, if we hear anybody, we are waiting for anybody that will say, "Pim," about they are here to secure you, they are here to protect you. They are not sleeping because of you, and you are neutralizing them. If we hear "Pim" from that angle. We'll we trace you. We'll trace you. We'll trace you. So now you guys are keeping quiet. They're doing all these things. So we want you to remain mute and quiet when the water will happen on them. Continue to remain quiet and mute all the political flavor, all the Mumu governors, Zodimba and his cohorts. Remain mute when this thing will happen. That's what we're saying. Enough of this nonsense. You will keep quiet and they are committing evil, genocide. You are fleeing their communities. And tomorrow you will just come and say, Oh, they are protecting you. Can you use their sympathy come to blackmail yourself? Nonsense. So that is the point. The undefeated, the struggle continues. Nothing will stop it. Nothing. Nothing. No human being. Born of woman have the capacity to stop it. Oh, yes. If the control detention of Mazen Mkhan did not stop it, what else? The detention growing stronger and stronger even while Mazen Mkhan is in detention. Okay? That is the first time. And that is, the credit goes to the the Biafran Prime Minister of Republic Government in Exile, Mazen Mkhan. That is the point.